My name is Rogelio Peña Verde Jr. So I'm collaborating with friends of mine in music here in New York. Uh, we're doing a compilation of songs by contemporary Filipino composers. We just thought that it's also a great um, addition to our heritage, to our recorded heritage, if you can do the art songs that living composers have made. It's also, um, it's also nice, it's a nice dynamic working with living composers because you, know, you can actually work with them and they can actually give you real inputs as to why they made such a piece of work. But this was actually a, a brainchild of uh, C. Joseph Legaspi, who was the uh, artistic director of uh, American Productions. Um, he was discussing it with us, Camille Enrico Legasca, and uh, we thought, yeah, this is a great project to do. We thought this is a worthwhile project and a fun project to do at the same time. And um, Clem came along because we all worked with him, and we think he's an excellent pianist. Hi, my name is Enrico Lagasca, bass baritone, living here in New York City. I'm a full-time singer and um, sing in professional choirs and I'm also a soloist. Uh, we wanted to uh, compile an album of Filipino art songs we live in, of course, because um, we want to we want their songs to be heard while they're still alive. <laughs> you know, like with these songs that are that are composed very recently, 20 or 30 years ago, they aren't really um, performed a lot in, in the Philippines, and we wanted to to start. Uh, start to, to bring back the influence of Filipino art song and, uh, and it, it would also be nice to have living composers hearing their compositions um, recorded. We are planning to record uh, popular Filipino songs actually, uh, those songs that were composed for Metro Manila Pop Song Festivals in the 70s and the 60s. Uh, that were rearranged also by living composers, of course, in a different treatment, in an art song form. Uh, for example, we, we are planning to record um, Elizabeth Barcelona's composition in 1970s, uh, rearranged by Eudenis uh, Palaruan, which, who, is a, uh, who is a professor at the University of the Philippines. But he, he changed or rearranged the whole accompaniment to fit the, the the genre, to fit the art song form, um, so that makes that what makes this project just one of the reasons why this project is unique and special. Hi, my name is Clement Acevedo. I'm a pianist, and I'm based in Virginia. This project is about recording uh, Filipino art songs. You know, art songs are, it's, it's a genre that's, that's a European uh, of origin. And so I think it's really exciting to have uh, Filipino art songs by living composers. This project is, uh, first of all, a Pinoy project. So I think that that alone makes it very special for me. And recording it with friends that I've been um, collaborating with uh, from before. Uh, is also an exciting uh, time. And what's even more special is that we're able to um, 
share uh, Filipino art songs and be able to share our culture and show it to the whole world what we have as musicians and composers. I was born and raised in uh, Marikina City in the Philippines. Uh, I went to school in uh, Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. The uh, project is about um, a compilation of uh, Filipino art songs, uh, Filipino contemporary art songs uh, featuring living composers. In the past, I've been performing uh, Filipino art songs by by Nicanor Abelardo or Francisco Santiago, but I had I had a lot of questions about the composition, about the vocal line, about the piano line, and nobody's there to answer it. He's not alive. Whereas now, uh, we can work with living composers and ask questions and collaborate with them. Um, I'll be doing this with good friends of mine. And um, I think there's not a whole lot of uh, recordings that feature uh, contemporary Filipino art songs. Right now, we really, really need your support. Um, we need funding for for every all all, all aspect of the of the project, starting from the recording and then the filming of uh, of uh, composers in the, back in the Philippines. Um, this will be a, a worthwhile project.